Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia. Today, I just want to encourage you with the word of God from Hebrews 13 verse 5 and 6, right? It's a promise that God made to us and how to take authority of the word of God and how to make the word of God manifest in our lives. And I'm going to read Hebrews chapter 12, sorry, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 to 6 and it reads, let your conduct be without conversiousness be content with such things as you have for he himself has said i will never leave you nor forsake you promise and verse 6 says so you may boldly say the lord is my helper i will not be afraid of what man do to me you see God has said to you here that he will not leave you nor forsake you and you should boldly confess you should boldly say if the Lord is for me the Lord will not forsake me I am not afraid the Lord is my keeper I am not afraid of what men do to me so if you have this at the back of your mind and you are walking righteously you are walking according to scriptures you are walking according to what the Bible is telling you to do and God has made a promise here that saying that he will not forsake you nor leave you and you should boldly confess you should boldly say the Lord is my keeper I am not afraid of what men do to me. I am not afraid of the trial that the devil spill at me. I am not afraid of the storm that hits me. I am not afraid of dismissal I face at work. I am not afraid of the poverty, the hardship that, I, that I'm going to because I know my God will provide. I know my God will make a way where there seems to be no way. When God promises something, he doesn't give a man can cause you to fall into trouble man can cause you to go through pain and sorrow and those of us who come from very bad uh, environment very demonic satanic env environment that we don't know we don't know how to use the power of god we don't know how to, to to alter the word of god to overcome every principality every rulers of darkness satanic forces demonic control that manipulate things spiritually today i'm here to tell you according to hebrews 13 verse 5 to 6 God says he will not leave you nor forsake you and you should boldly confess you should boldly say the Lord is my keeper the Lord is your keeper I am not afraid of what men do to me listen trials will come tribulations will come sorrows will come sickness will come but remember this word remember this word the Lord is your keeper you will not be afraid of what men do to you and if you have this and you believe in it you alter it this life is more spiritual Ritual than physical. Somebody may, may, go, may get at, may have an evil eye, can see the glory of God then and then. You've done nothing to them. They are fighting you spiritually. You've done nothing to them. They are throwing spells. They are casting evil utterances, evil pronunciation, evil enchantment, going to cast black magic, going to places just because they see good, something good in you. They try to mess you up for you to lose courage in God, for you to lose focus in Christ Jesus. But I'm here to tell you. Boldly confess, boldly say, the Lord is my keeper. I am not afraid of what men do to me. Even when it's impossible for man, know that with God, all things are possible. Know that God is there for you. Trials will come, tribulations will come, but you are not afraid. You are not afraid because he said, he has not given us the spirit of fear. He has given us the spirit of courage, spirit of confidence. That's what God has promised us. That's what he has given us. So do not let fear bring you back do not let fear break you down do not let fear make you lose hope when you fall 10 times rise 11 times when you fall 20 times rise 25 times don't fall and turn that spot into your sleeping zone rise and carry on you are a warrior when you are hit you get up and keep going when you are broken you get up you mend yourself you keep going guys I wish one day you would understand me that look, things that we go to, the devil does not want we should have got to have peace. And if you don't know the word, you don't know the word, you can't speak the word, you don't learn your scriptures, you don't learn the word of God, the, the devil will be playing um, chastely. That's a game when we're in Ghana, we used to play. The, the devil will use you as cricket, or the, the British game called cricket. See, they, 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 they hit the ball here and there. The devil keep hitting you back and forth because you don't know the word to overcome every plan of the devil. 
learn your word because that is where hope is. That is where power is. If the word of God tells me, God is my keeper. I am not afraid of what men do to me. You can do, mm, you can do, mm, I don't care. God has promised me that he will not leave you or forsake me. And he said he has not given you the spirit of fear, but he's given the spirit of courage, spirit of confidence. So that's what I'm accepting. That's what I'm going with. I'm not accepting negativity. I'm not accepting failure. I'm not accepting anything else but the word of God that he has promised me. So guys, this is what I'm leaving you with today. Just go by the word. Hebrews 13, verse 5 to 6. Read it, meditate on it, and let that be your weapon. Let that be your words that you alter in times of trouble, in times of difficulty. Guys, if you, have, if you get this um, video, if you watch it, you like it, share it to at least one person. Share it at least one person. You can share it to as many people as you want, but one person, please don't miss it. Share it. Share it on. And if you love my channel, you are new here, you love my channel, please do subscribe. Shalom, guys. Love you loads. Bye.